Good morning, this is Deepak. I'm back in New York City uh, and uh, I am happy to be here. We're going to be launching our uh, new app, Jio.com, uh, social platform for well-being tomorrow and day after in New York City, so stay tuned for that. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, the Radical Wellbeing Movement dot com, which the URL is there for you to click on to. Uh, as you may or may not know, Daniel Poza and I have been doing uh, seminars uh, which are called Corporate Wellbeing and the Soul of Leadership. Uh, Daniel used to be with Gallup and uh, is now a consultant and works with me on this program, Corporate Wellbeing and um, Soul of Leadership. She has also attended my courses at, uh, at Kellogg uh, School of Management and has in fact appeared there as a, as a um, uh, speaker on the faculty as well. So we were supposed to do this course uh, around this time and Danielle had gone to for a holiday uh, to India. In fact, I met her there as well. And uh, when she arrived back in New York uh, from India, unfortunately, she learned that her father had uh, suddenly uh, passed on as a result of a motorcycle accident. It was very sudden, of course, as all accidents are. It was... Uh, totally unexpected and was a great tragedy. Danielle had a wonderful relationship with her father and was of course immediately engulfed in grief and sadness and, uh, and uh, also had a lot of things to do to take care of the affairs of her father. So we cancelled the course uh, as was appropriate and uh, Danielle has been very brave, has been um, very much, much in touch with her feelings and has a very good uh, spiritual background and understanding that our core being is not in time, that uh, who we think we are is a person, but a person is a constant stream of intermittent sensations, images, feelings and thoughts and your core being is the awareness in which the person appears and disappears. Having this background and deeper understanding, she um, has been able to cope with the tragedy that uh, <clears throat> she has suffered. In the end, uh, our person is subject to mortality. That which we call the person is subject to mortality. And uh, there is, however, a core being in which the person constantly arises and subsides. And if we get in touch with that, then we are able to understand and get a deeper sense of reality <clears throat> and understand that these tragedies will happen at some point to all of us. So I, I really... Um, have uh, grieved at the loss of Daniel's father, but have also celebrated Daniel's resilience and her creativity and her love, both for herself, her family, and her um, love for humanity. Therefore, we're going to resurrect the course. The course is called uh, Corporate Wellbeing and the Soul of Leadership. And uh, if you want to know more about it, then go to the URL uh, and click on it and you can come and join us. And if for some reason you can't join us because you're in a different location, then uh, you're welcome to join the movement anyway and benefit from all the things that we are learning and teaching in this whole area of corporate well-being and uh, the soul of leadership. So corporate well-being simply means the well-being of uh, firstly employees, the well-being of customers, the well-being of investors. And if you look at these three uh, parts of the ecosystem, then the well-being of uh, employees comes number first, number one. 
if your employees are happy, your customers will be happy. If your customers are happy, then your investors will be happy and your uh, corporation or business will be thriving and uh, it will be part of the well-being movement, the radical well-being movement that we are now engaging in across the world. So in this course, you will learn about uh, what makes employees happy and healthy, what makes for a good team, uh, how uh, we can use our strengths and complement our strengths uh, with the strengths of others to create effective teams that share an emotional bond and a common vision. You will also learn in this course what makes people happy and what the set point for happiness is in the brain and how you can change it. In this course, you will always also learn about social well-being, the basic elements of physical well-being, including how to manage stress, how to get a good effective sleep, uh, how to make use of techniques of mind-body coordination, and how to um, actually influence the healing mechanisms in your own body. In this course, you will learn about community well-being, and you will learn about emotional intelligence, and you will also learn about uh, spiritual well-being and how to get in touch with the core essence of reality, which is our own soul, or which is our own, uh, what we might call, uh, fundamental reality. You will learn in this course also to, uh, to create your own soul profile and how to make that an internal reference point. And uh, once you make that your internal reference point, then no experience will be able to overshadow your own fundamental reality so that you can actually engage in the world and at the same time, as I say, be not of it, to understand that we are local and non-local beings at the same time. In this course, you will also understand uh, and engage in the principles of the soul of leadership uh, framework, how to look and listen with the heart, with the flesh, with the mind, with the soul how to be emotionally intelligent, but also emotionally free, how to engage in uh, nonviolent communication. In this course, you will learn the basic principles of uh, the seven levels of need, uh, which are survival and safety, um, uh, sexual and spiritual expression, um, the understanding of uh, how to fulfill your goals uh, in a meaningful way, um, the deeper uh, role of love, compassion, joy, equanimity. You will learn about creative expression and how to harness the powers of intuition and creativity and higher consciousness. And ultimately, you will also learn about insight, imagination, and getting in touch with the source of all reality, which is your own inner being. At the same time, in this course, you will learn how to uh, engage at all these seven levels and adopt the leadership styles that are necessary for the situation, whether you need to be a protector, a team builder, a nurturer, a, um, a visionary, uh, an innovator or just uh, show up and solve all these problems. So this is what I expect um, to be teaching along with Daniel Poza at this course. Also how to create uh, meaningful action plans, be a role model for action and come up with smart goals. And at the, um, at the end of the course you will also learn the principles of integrity, authenticity, responsibility, and uh, higher uh, cause of what we call higher vision. And finally, you will learn about synchronicity 
and the spontaneous fulfillment of desire at this course as well. So I invite you, along with Daniel Poza, to join us this, at this course. Check out the URL, which is radicalwellbeingmovement.com. And even if you can't come to the course, become a member so we can uh, engage with you online and continue uh, with this higher vision which we have for ourselves, for our communities, for our families, and for the world. The goal of the Chopra Foundation always has been to reach a billion people for him uh, to create a critical mass of people who are undergoing personal and social transformation so we can move in the direction of a more peaceful, just, sustainable, healthier, and happier world. And so I will be very thrilled to engage with you on this, both online, and so will Danielle. And, uh, uh, we will move together in that direction.